What's going on guys, Bao here back with some genetic gladiators, so let's get into this, we're going to be doing the PvE event, um, this is, we're just going to be choosing random mutants, uh, it doesn't really matter which ones are going to be, and then the tags of course are going to be the lower level ones, so that way we can save them for the higher level, probably like 60, uh, 60 70 maybe, somewhere around there, I'll switch to the higher ones to get it done a little bit faster. But, uh, let's see, we're trying to get to 50, because we're at, oh, there's a new man that's actually in the shop. Um, I was thinking about getting him, but, uh, cost 500, and you don't really need him, so, probably not going to, because I'm saving up for the Zodiac pack, which I'm pretty close to. I should be able to get it, uh, hopefully today. Um, I'm only 300 gold away, so, we are gonna be able to get the jackpot tokens which is gonna help me with a little bit of gold I'm hoping at least 50 maybe more you never know if I get lucky um, but uh, yeah we're trying to get to 50 for that and then if we get to 60 we're gonna be able to get the reactor token which uh, is gonna help me when I get I think two more no one more two more I don't know how many more I have I think I have like four, so if I get this one that'll be five and then I'll need one more. And then I could actually spin the reactor twice and hope I get the one I'm looking for. I do only need two left in the Star Wars one, so if I can get both of those on both of those spins that'd be amazing. I doubt it. I mean, I usually don't get that lucky, but if I do that'd be pretty cool. I do need Xena, that's the one I'm actually aiming for if I do get any. Um, just because I want to get it to gold, plus I need it for the bingo. Uh, the other one I needed was the gold one. I forgot which one I needed. Um, I don't remember. I gotta go look. But I do need one more there, and then we'll get the mutant for that. At the end, after we collect all five, which you also need for the bingo. So I'm trying to complete the bingo uh, as fast as I can. Some of the mutants are in the shop, and some of them haven't been out yet. Or the slots, or stuff like that, so... They have been adding a lot of new mutants to the shop, so hopefully I can actually collect some more gold to pick up a few of them to show you guys. Um, the new one that I wanted to get was a Mario one, although it cost, I think it was a thousand? If I remember correctly? Was it a thousand? I think it was a thousand gold. Because um, there was another one that was 500. I think that was the one that I showed earlier. Yeah, I think that Mario one was a thousand, although you can't breed it, or I don't think you can breed it. Yeah, I don't know if it's breedable. Um, I don't think it is, but uh, it just looked pretty cool. It'd be a pretty cool mutant to have. Um, I just don't want to waste a thousand gold because I'm going to get the Zodiac pack and then after that I'm just going to have to collect some more gold because uh, I think there's one more Zodiac pack left, so I'm going to have to start saving for that and most likely it's going to cost 1900 like all the other ones that they had. There's the 50, and then we got the tokens there. Hopefully, at least out of those 10, I get at least 50 gold. Um, so at least 5 of those have to land on the 10 gold would be fine. I'd be even better if they landed on the higher ones, because I do need 300. But it is going to help me get a little bit closer, so I don't have to go up 6 more levels, I believe I have to get. Because uh, I get 50 per level, so... We'll see what happens there. Uh, let's take down... Let's take down that one, I guess. Yeah, we're just trying to get through this. And my tag should have changed. Um, it should be... Triple B, I believe, is the one that is currently my tag. Because before it was Project X27. I know it was kind of a sucky tag. But uh, that was the one that I leveled up. So there's really nothing I could do about it. And I got up Triple B. He should be my tag. I know... It might not be good for some people, because it is a Necro... I forgot his other gen. Um, shoot. Uh, z no, it's not Zoomorph. Um, Necro something. Cyber? I think it's Necro Cyber. Um, but yeah, that is my tag. You can use him if you want to. You can use him for a heal. His Brutal is pretty good, um, but... Uh, uh, it's really up to you. He's good against Galactic, so if you have a Galactic Queen that you need to take it down and use that. But uh, if you don't, you can just use him for a heal. It's up, really up to you. 
But uh, the next one I might get up to my tag. Um, I don't know. Maybe one of the ones in the shop because there are a bunch in there that are really good for tags. Although I wish I had more gold. Of course I don't. But uh, if I do get some more gold I'll be getting whoever's in the shop at the time. But first we gotta start saving up for the next Zodiac. So hopefully you guys saved up enough for this one. There is gonna be another one. I don't know when. But uh, there should be one or two more. I think there's two? No. How many Zodiac packs do they have? There's 12 mutants. Uh, I think they've already had three. So I think there's one more left. And then that would be all 12. Yeah, I think there's one more Zodiac pack left. I don't know how much it's going to be. But so far they've all been 1900. So I'm, I'm guessing the last one's going to be 1900 as well. Unless they up the price a little bit because it is the last one, so I would save about 2500 just in case. And I don't know what it's going to be, but most likely it's going to be pretty soon. Maybe next year, beginning of the year or something like that. But uh, yeah, start saving up for that for sure. Because you are going to need all 12. I am missing... Two? Four? Well, I'm missing four, but there's three that haven't been in the pack, so... Or am I missing five? I gotta go check. Because I didn't buy one of the packs. I didn't have enough. I really wish I would have saved enough because I would have had all 12 and then I would have got the special man. But uh, I can't do that now. Unless I get lucky and uh, they put all 12 up for sale on the last one. Maybe they'll do that. That'd be pretty cool. Although that pack would be expensive. Ooh, maybe they are going to do that. That'd be pretty cool if they just had a full pack of all 12 for four or 5,000. Maybe they'll do that. Nah, they would have to charge more than that because three... All the packs so far have been... Oh, well, almost 2,000. Uh, 100 short of the, at the 2,000. Um, so maybe they'll charge like eight. Maybe something like that. That'd be a lot though. Or maybe they'll just put up the older packs for sale. But if they do, I do need, I think, one or two out of the packs. I'm not too sure if I have four or five that I'm missing. But three for sure, I know I haven't gotten yet because I just, they haven't had the pack for them. And then the, either one or two I'm missing. I do have to go check on that. But hopefully I can get the 13th Zodiac when everything rolls around and I'll uh, review that for you guys of course I could do these zodiac packs but uh, yeah we're almost to 60 hopefully we do get there um, these are gonna be 10 minutes of course from now on and we should be able to get through this uh, event pretty quick I ain't doing it uh, all at once because I really don't need anything besides the tokens I mean the silver star and gold star do help but I don't really need them right away because there's not anybody I'm going for. Um, I did put out one of the breedings for like the full breedings for like a mutant. Just use some random ones. Um, should be up with this one. So uh, I will be doing some of the other ones as well like just the group uh, from bronze to gold. Um, not too sure which the next one I'm gonna do. We'll see. Maybe it'll be one out of the shop or just one that uh, I haven't done before, something like that. I don't know, I'll think about it. Because I only have like three, two, two or three gold stars left, so I do have to collect some more there. But uh, let's get through this real quick. We are almost done. I'm just hoping to get close to 60. Let's see if we can at least get to 60, that would be perfect. So that way on the next one I will get the reactor token, although I'm not going to be able to use it. I need one. One more? Yeah, I think I need one more, so. But once I get that one more, I will put out a video of the spins. Hopefully I get one of them, at least one of them. So that way next time I just need one. But we'll see what happens. Never know, might get lucky and actually get both of them. That'd be perfect, but... My luck's really not that good, so... We'll see. Uh, damn, they get to go first. I need to start picking faster ones. I know I'm just using random ones. 
Uh, I think once I start getting a lot closer to like 60 or 70, I'm just going to start using um, the higher level mutants so I can get through it a little bit faster. Because I know you guys want to see the end. Um, but you can probably go look around on some of the forms of the groups and actually find what the mutants are going to be. But uh, towards the most likely, the last one, I'll show you a little bit of uh, tips to get through it if you're not that close. But a uh, big point of getting through the event once you start getting stuck is the tag for sure. You're gonna want to use that tag. And just take down the strongest one. It doesn't matter which one it is as long as you take down the strongest one and then set up the other three mutants that you have for um, the other two that you're not going to use the tag on and hopefully your tag strong enough to take down the one you can't take down. So that way you have three against the other two and make sure their gens are going to be better than the other two. That's all you got to do. It's not that hard but uh, try to help you out towards the end. But that's going to be about it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you guys in the next one.